Welcome at Judo Insights preview for the Grand Prix in Tbilisi this weekend. 45 nations and 350 athletes, 200 men, 150 women, but quality women. And let's start with one woman, Irina Leonidze for Georgia. She's the only woman and we expected to have Esther Stam, Esther Stamishvili, uh, but she still has an injury, elbow, uh, an elbow injury. Uh, so let's start with those men. Seven categories, four strong men for each category of the Georgian team. So they have everything. They have Papinashvili on the 60 kilogram. They have on the 66 Margelashvili on the 73 with Tatalashvili, with Shavdatuashvili, of course, the Olympic champion. And under 81, of course, the world champion Aftandil Tsirikashvili. But of course, let's not forget Ushangi Margiani. On the 90 kilogram with Varlam Lipatiliani and Begag Vinyashvili. On the 100, not so strong as uh, the last years, so they compensated with plus 100 with uh, Adam Okorashvili and perhaps Matiashvili. Wow, what a line up is that! Uh, Georgia, last year they won three gold medals by uh, Tatalashvili, by Tsirikashvili, and Okorashvili. Let's see if they can do the same stunt again, of course, only in the men and just one woman. Who else? The Azerbaijan team is uh, quite strong. The neighbors sent in Orkan Safarov this time, and it's one of their strongest athletes. But also they have Tarlan Karimov, they have Chikalizade, Orujov, Elman Gazimov, and of course world champion Elmar, uh, no, Elkan uh, Mamadov, and even nine women, in, in fact in each category. So they also have quite a strong team. I estimate at least that they have three medals for Azerbaijan. Uh, they are preparing for European Games in Baku, very serious, and speaking about very serious preparations. Kazakhstan, they sent in a team, one of my favorites there on the 60 kilogram is Yeldos Smetov. Of course, they organized the World Championship in Astana. Smetov is one of those guys who could get a medal on the 60 kilogram, and it's a nice category with uh, Papinashvili, with uh, Dashdava of Mongolia, they have Orkan Safirov, and uh, without the Russians actually, because they are still in South America. But they have enough guys left. Uh, Denis Yartsev is one of them. Uh, Kuzen Kalmurzaev, Anton Krivobokov. So, not the top women, uh, but maybe under 63 kilograms they have Marta Labadzina to maybe potentially get a medal. We didn't speak about Mongolia yet. Uh, they have strong guys. They have Davar Dorj, they have uh, Niam Suren and a heavyweight Ulzi Bayar, but also Sanjar Gal. A few good women, but I think the fireworks comes from the men. Um, not with the world champions, with, without Mungbat and without Gambat. So um, maybe a few medals, but we have to see. Uzbekistan, they have two strong guys on the 60 kilogram, but also on the 66 they have Rishot Sobirov, he's getting into shape again and still positioned well in the world ranking. Uh, Imamov on the 81 kilogram, and in fact in each category they have a strong guy up, uh, of world level. Even Abdullah Tangriev, the heavyweight, he's still going strong. Um, we didn't speak about uh, uh, one Asian country yet, which is North Korea. They sent in Hung under 73 kilo. He is strong and gaining some positions in the world ranking. But also three very strong women and one of them right. is Kyung Sol, the 2013 world champion. Surprising is the team of Egypt. They send in 12 guys and well, they have a few strong guys like uh, Islam El Shahabi, the Darvish brothers and also uh, Hatem Abdelaker under 90 kg. I estimate them to get well, one or two medals this weekend. The full troops of Germany are coming to uh, Tbilisi. Strong women like uh, Maureen Kray, um, Ropa, they have uh, under 57 kg, they have Vechta, Traidos, they have Diedrich, Thiele, Kulps and Konitz. So a strong women's team. And uh, well, for the men, they have uh, under 81, for instance, Sven Maresch, uh, Mark Odenthal, uh, Breitbart, Heinle in the plus category. And of course, under 100 kg, there's a very nice battle going on between Dimitri Peters and uh, Karl Richard Frey. And Frey is gaining some good positions at the world ranking and he has the best papers in this moment. So that could be interesting between Dimitri Peters and Karl Richard Frey. Then Italy, they sent in Verde, Maddaloni, Chiano, Facente, Di Guida. I think uh, it sounds good but the fireworks will come from the women. And they have uh, Moscat, she's having, uh, she had her birthday last week. 
and also Jufrida Quintaval at which Grant he won last week, uh, last year actually in, in Tbilisi. Also um, uh, Asunta Gorleona, she won also last year. But for me, Odette Jufrida is one of my favorites and she is um, well developing the best way with a good technique, good attitude, so she might take a medal here in Tbilisi. A strong Hungarian team, of course, with the Unvari brothers, uh, both uh, Attila and, um, and Miki, of course, uh, but also Tsabox, Krizan, Christian Todt, and Eva Czernowicki, and maybe also um, Hedwig Karakas on the 57 kilogram, and that is a very nice category. We'll speak about that later on. Nice to mention is Andri Egutice. He did well in Coimbra, he won a gold medal, and Egutice. Uh, does it ring a bell? He comes from Georgia, so well, who knows? In his uh, former country, he could uh, do a stint. I think it's far away from him, but uh, a good practice for sure. Then the French men, they have uh, left their best guys at home, but there's still some potential uh, to, to gain a medal or to get to the final stage. It's a good practice for them anyway, but I think from the women, that is a different ball game because they send in Urani Recevo, they have Eman, Gahi, Chubio and uh, Andiol. So they are all able to, uh, well, to fight at world level and all able to get a medal. So I think I expect something from the French women. Austria, they sent in five women, but the top girls. So they have Fieldsmoser, they have um, Unterwurzacher, they have, well, they, they all practiced at the Austrian Championships last week, and of course also uh, Bernadette Graf. So I expect something from the Austrian women. It is possible, ladies, really to medal all of you three. They've uh, had a good training camp in Japan, so we'll see about that. Also, Croatia will send in the best women, of course. Barbara Matic is there front runner another team has very strong women and they are really now on the map it is poland with katarzyna klis with podolak with pokrot zelets really three potential medals but uh, well if they would get one medal in tbc that will already be very okay then another strong country they are familiar for their women that is uh, turkey under 48, they have Dilara Lokman Hakim and of course uh, Ebru Shahin. They already practiced well in Oberwart, so we can expect something there on the 48 kilogram. But also they have Ötcherler, they have Arka, and for the men, they have a surprise. Yes, on the 60 kilogram. Who is that? Bekir Oslu. Who? Bekir Oslu? Of course, that is 2012 Olympian Betkil Shukfani from Georgia. So what will he do at, the, at his home ground? He already practiced a bit, I was not so much impressed. But now in Georgia, well, he won the World Cup in 2012. So who knows what we can expect from uh, Betkil Shukfani, or should we say Betkir Oslu? Then Sweden, they have very nice, um, well, men, let's make it objective, but also nice women. On the 63, they sent Mia Hermansson and Anna Berholm. Sounds good, but they also play quite a nice judo game. So let's see what we can do, what we can uh, see from them. On the 63, it's not an easy category, but uh, let's see what it can do. Speaking about surprises, I don't expect so much from the British women, but maybe they have Alice Schlesinger and she's in a bloody shape because we could see that in the Sudo where she won the gold medal. Also they have Gemma Gibbons and she already collected three international medals, so who knows that we can see, let's say, one or two medals for Great Britain. Then Israel. Israel, they have of course Jarden Jerby. She's back in Tbilisi and she's the number one favorite for me on the 63 kilograms, but also have Linda Boulder now fighting for Israel. Of course, she was Dutch previously and she was the number two of the European Championships uh, in 2013. So let's see what she can do now because she got injured in Dusseldorf. Um, I really wonder what she can do. But they also have last year's winners, in, uh, last year's winner in Tbilisi. Under 52 kilogram, which is uh, uh, Gilly Cohen. She won the gold and she is here. The USA is coming to TBC with Olympic champion Kayla Harrison, but also with Marty Malloy. And I recently spoke to Marty. She said, well, I always have to prove myself. Well, here's your chance, lady, because on the 57 kilograms, it's going to be nice with, um, well, um, my Malloy herself, of course, but also with Filsmoser, with Recevo, with Ropa, Karakash, Quintaval, Podolak, Bezzetti, and not even mentioned, Capriori, Miami, Miami, Miami. That's going to be a nice one on the 57 kilograms. So, be there, Judo Inside, all those guys and girls, and I hope to see you soon on the website in my own statistics. Bye-bye.